Hey guys, welcome back. It's Tal from Tally Ray Vlogs, back for another unboxing video. For those of you who have watched my videos before, you kind of know what this is all about. Um, basically, the one I have right now is the BoxyCharm um, that we are going to be unboxing. Um, I get these every single month. I've kind of gone through a couple different unboxing subscriptions, and this one is my current favorite one. Um, I am going to actually have a new one for you guys coming up here soon. It's even going to be a collaboration. Um, well, not really a collab. I am going to pull in my boyfriend, Nate, and he said he would um, do an unboxing video with me. So this, that'll be coming up soon here. And I I'm super excited to show you guys that. Um, otherwise, for today's video, as you guys all know, this is the Boxy Charm unboxing. So let's get right into this so you guys can see what this month is all about. So as I open this up here, we have a couple different cards. The first one that I'm pulling out is the card that it comes with. This is the description card that says um, kind of everything um, that you get in the box that month, kind of like what it retails for, and also um, the claims that that product has. And we actually have another card this month. This is from Cover FX and it's actually a discount code. I will leave this for you in the description below for anyone that wants to use it. It's good from now until March 15th and it's 20% off your next purchase off of Cover FX. Um, so that is uh, pretty awesome. I'm happy to share that with you guys and um, feel free to go and use that code. All right, so let's dig into the box here. Um, the first thing I'm pulling out is a set of brushes. Um, they have white handles um, with the pink tops. I've actually had um, similar brushes like this before because these are crown brushes. Um, I think I maybe have gotten them in a subscription before, so that's possibly why I have a crown brush. So we get three brushes um, in the in the Crown collection that they give us. This is a trio brush set from Crown Pro, um, and they retail for twenty nine ninety nine, so about ten dollars a brush. Um, so not really like expensive, like you're gonna think like either like Sigma or Sephora or kind of like. Um, a regular high-end brand, but it's not gonna be like drugstore pricing either. I'd say it's like a high-end drugstore price for a brush. Um, they do feel very soft, um, and let's see what they all come with. So the three brush trio uh, says that they are perfect brushes to contour with. So this first brush here, um, they say is perfect to conceal underneath the eyes right here. So really um, eliminate those dark circles. And then we have the medium size brush here. And this, they say this one is perfect to sculpt out the cheek, kind of get around the uh, outer parts of your face and um, to um, sculpt everything out that way. Um, I have a more like defined sculpting brush. So I'd be interested to try this out to see if like a more like rounded brush would be better for me. And then finally we have the large brush and they say that this brush um, is best for setting everything down. So after you're concealing, you could set it down with powder here. Um, you could um, set down pretty much any powder or anything that you would need to do with the final brush. So um, that's pretty awesome. I can definitely get some good uses out of it. Um, Brushes are kind of like my new thing that I've fallen in love with. Basically, um, it's so true that like the tools that you use to apply your makeup make such a difference. Like you can get away with not using the tools and still make it look good, but it's gonna be a hundred times easier if you have the right brush to um, um, put on the eyeshadow, to uh, blend everything out, to sculpt the cheeks, to apply the right amount of blush and to uh, make sure that it's not too like cakey or anything. Just those specific types of brushes that actually really help just like make it go a lot faster and easier and just make makeup simpler in general. So I really, really fall in love with um, investing in brushes to make everything else um, apply easier. Um, and then also it helps that you don't have to actually get the super high end products for the actual makeup all the time. You can get a low end product that applies similar to the high end products and with the right brush, that low end product you've been using will start actually acting like that high end product. So that's kind of awesome as well. So overall, I'm pretty happy with the first pick here. So let's keep digging in. All right, so the next thing I'm pulling out is, it uh, looks like maybe an eye pencil. So this is a smoky eye pencil from Vintage Cosmetics. Um, I absolutely love the design right away that they have. Um, it just looks like this is from like 20, 30 years ago. Like when they say vintage, they totally nailed it. Um, the color I got is just jet black, which I can always use. I will always um, go back to my jet black and brown eyeliners. Um, so I'm always looking for new ones and a new products to try out. So that's awesome. Um, and they say this one specifically is by Jessica Liebskind or Liebskind, something like that. So I don't, I don't know if she's a beauty influencer or if she just works for the brand. But that's really awesome that this is like her actual product. And I'm just going to test it out, see um, how the actual eye pencil um, 
goes. Oh, it looked like it was gonna be like really hard, um, but it's actually like super soft and a lot more like gel-like. It looked like it was gonna be like, like one of those like, like like a lead pencil. Like if that's just what it looked like, but it's actually like super soft and gel-like when it, when I applied it. Um, that is a swatch, so definitely like a jet black color. Love that. Um, definitely think I'm gonna get some really good use out of it, and it looks like it'll be really great for smoking out. Um, and then this retails for $21, so definitely more of a high-end product. I'm expecting this product with a price tag like that, I'm expecting this project to perform well, I'm expecting it to last all day, and I'm expecting it to have good color payoff. Um, so hopefully um, it will give me all those things. So digging right back in, in here, the next thing I'm pulling out is from the brand Ofra. It looks like it might be an eyeshadow, um, or no, it's a blush. And it's uh, it's just a pan blush, um, so I'll have to put this in one of my empty palettes. Um, this is the color. And unfortunately, it does not say the color on here anywhere, so once I get rid of the packaging, I'm not going to know what this color is anymore, but that's fine. Um... They say that the color is Winter Rose Glow, so um, I do think that there's going to be um, a little bit of shine or shimmer in this. I will put this right here. Oh, that is gorgeous. I cannot wait to try that out. I've been looking for a blush that's this color. So definitely that rose gold color, really, really liking that. Um, and like I said, this is from Ofra Cosmetics, and this retails for $19. All right, and next in the package, I am pulling out something from Pure Cosmetics. Um, I feel like Pure Cosmetics and BoxyCharm must have a collaboration or um, some sort of partnership together because we get a lot of Pure Cosmetics um, in these boxes. And so far, I've really enjoyed Pure Cosmetics. They're not like a brand that I like absolutely go to, but when I do decide to test with the products, um, they perform pretty well and I'm not usually disappointed with them. They just don't usually like blow my mind either. Um, like I said, this is from Pure Cosmetics, and this is their XFO Lip Plumping Lip Exfoliator. <sighs> Unfortunately, I'm not usually a fan of lip plumping products. Um, I uh, understand the allure of the like pouty lip thing and to make your lips really big, um, but I actually usually try to make my lips a little bit smaller. Um, usually when I'm applying my lipstick or lip stain or whatever I'm wearing. Um, so this isn't usually something I would go for. I might see if a friend will like it. Um, I'll test it out because I, I don't want to like dis just disregard something just because I disliked it in the past. Um, so I'll definitely give it its fair shot, but um, I don't see myself loving this. It looks like it's just going to be like a clear balm. I'll put it on see what it kind of feels like. Um, it doesn't feel, I don't know, it did, I feel like a lot of exfoliators, like you immediately like feel something on your skin or lips or whatever that are like making it like bigger, but normally it's almost like painful, which is probably why I don't really like it. But this just seems to be kind of like a gel. I'm not really getting any pain or anything off of it. Um, the more I scrub off, it does definitely um, have that exfoliating product in it as well though, which I do use. Um, I use one of like the e.l.f. exfoliators um, to help get rid of dry skin on my lips and everything. Um, so um, I might try this out for the exfoliating factor and then whatever I would get as far as plumping goes, um, I, I will just kind of like probably disregard or see if it really has much of an effect. If it's a huge thing, I'll probably just see if a friend likes the idea of like a lip plumping thing. Um, otherwise, um, like I said, this is from Pure Cosmetics and this retails for $17. All right, and the final thing I think in this box here is from Cover FX. Um, not surprised I'm getting something from Cover FX since they didn't give us the coupon code. Normally, if we do have a coupon code for something um, in one of these boxes, that means that um, we're going to have a product from that brand as well. Um, so let's see what this is. Looks like it might be a um, lipstick of some kind. All right, and this is actually um, more of like a highlighter. They're calling it a shimmer veil, and it can be used um, on like your eyes to give yourself, you like your eyes a nice like shimmer or glow, but you can also use it like anywhere on your face is what it's claiming. Um, and mine is in the shade uh, Amethyst. And I'll give you guys a look. It's just a normal doe foot applicator there. Put it right on the end. Oh, that is a lot of glitter. Wow. That is a ton of glitter. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that on the end there is what it looks like. I don't know if you can tell just from this, but it is just like 
bam glitter like think like my little pony glitter like this is holy crap glitter um i uh, don't know if i will love this or not um maybe for like a fun like girls night out or something where i'm kind of like trying to go overboard um i might like this um, but normally i'm looking for something that's just like a touch over normal if i'm gonna like go the shimmer or the highlight route uh normally i'm not trying to be like bam in your face look at my highlighting shimmering self so um, interesting um definitely a product i wouldn't normally buy which is why i love these boxes they uh, make you kind of go out of your comfort zone and try new things um so i will um, definitely check it out see how it performs um see if it's um easy to use on the lips or eyes or cheeks or wherever well i'll let you guys know and like I said, again, this is from the brand Cover FX, and this is, uh, and this retails for $28. And I'm not sure, it actually looks like there might be something else in the box here. I'm wondering if it's a palette. Oh, it looks like it might be a palette to put that brush in, and this is from the brand Ofra. Um, my palettes are actually full. I wasn't sure I was going to put this, so that's kind of really awesome. So it's just a normal looking palette here, and then um, it opens up from both sides, like so. And then it has the magnet magnetic closed so it won't just like um, pop open um, by itself for the most part. I mean if it's like really banging around it might might open but um, it's uh, it does have that magnetic close to help keep it closed. I'm going to throw my blush in there right now. So bam. I already have a blush for it. That's awesome. Oh, okay. And I totally read this wrong. Um, back up here. The actual blush that came with it being in the refill pan actually retails for $12. And then we actually get this as an extra, which retails for $19. So basically it's like we got six products this month. So that's awesome. All right, and so everything all together this month, um, the total retail value was $126.99. I'll round that up to $127, so $127 value um, for uh, $21. Um, so that is pretty awesome. I mean, just this by itself, the palette and the blush completely covered it. Most of the products by themselves were more than 20 bucks a piece. So any one of these would have covered the cost basically um, of the entire box. So I absolutely love that. But that's it for our unboxing this month. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, like I said, this is probably my favorite unboxing that I do. I absolutely love BoxyCharm. I think they give such a great value. Normally you get a really great bang for your buck as far as um, so what you spend versus what you get. So um, if you're willing to like try new things out, totally, totally worth it. I totally recommend them. I am not sponsored by BoxyCharm in any way. Um, so these are totally just my opinions. And I hope you guys trust that I'm here for you. Whenever I go out and buy new things, whether it's a subscription, a regular makeup product, something for hair, makeup, clothes, whatever, if I can do research on it and find honest reviews for that product and know how it actually works for somebody, um, I'm so much more likely to A, try it out and then B, repurchase it if it ended up working like I said it was going to work. So I want to, I want you to do that for you guys as well um, so that um, we can just kind of all help each other out and not be wasting money on products that don't actually work and that we can invest in products um, that are great and that whether they are cruelty free or um, perform really well on the skin, if it's a really great deal. I love finding makeup dupes. Let me know down in the comments below what is your favorite subscription box that you either subscribe to or that you love watching the, watching videos for. I'd love to hear what you guys are thinking. Maybe there's a new subscription service that I can look into to see if it would um, fit for me or if I could check it out. Um, like I said, I'm looking to expand and try like other random subscription services throughout the year instead of doing the Sephora Play and BoxyCharm. I'm just going to do BoxyCharm Study and then try random ones throughout the year. Um, don't forget to look back here because I will be having a new video coming out next week or the week after that's going to be another um, unboxing video and this is going to be brand new something that I've never done before and I'm going to let Nate have Nate do it with me so that is awesome. I'm super super pumped to share that with you guys. So I hope all of you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!